everyone, and welcome to Meeple Leaf Reviews. I'm Jeffrey. I am Jacob. And today we're doing a before and after. Why don't you tell us what a before and after is, Jacob? I'd be glad to, Jeffrey. <laughs> a before and after is where we give you our expectations of a game before we have ever played it. Uh, we've just looked at the rules, kind of go- gone over what the game's all about. Then we're going to play the game one single time, come back to you, and give you our first impressions. Now, today the game is Dark Souls. That's right. The board game. We're not going to play the video game <laughs> on here. Uh, but this is one I'm I'm going in a little iffy on. Right. I've seen uh, a positive review, a negative review. Mm-hmm. So I'm kind of in the middle of the road. After seeing you explain the game to me, I'm right. like, I don't understand how the game could take three plus hours. Right. It seems pretty simple. Uh, so... We'll see. That's definitely one of the complaints of the game is how long it is and that it's a bit of a slog fest, a grind that you're going through. You fight all these monsters, then you need to rest and and reset the board, fight them all again just to gain enough experience to get good enough equipment that you can fight bosses. Right. Now, thematically, that's not what the game is about. I've heard people saying that, oh yeah, this is exactly like the Dark Souls board or video game because you have to just grind and fight and fight and fight just to get good equipment. The game is actually about getting good right. at the game. Uh, people do naked runs where they're wearing no armor. They just have like a simple basic weapon and they go in and they beat the game right? Uh, because they're good at the game. You can't get good at this board game because it's all about dice rolls. It's a dice chucker. Yeah, and uh, the only thing that has that has that coming into it is the mini bosses where you can learn their attacks, sure, yeah. learn where to position yourself, where they're going to hit, and in what order, and then you can kind of game it that way. Yeah. But all the damage dealing is just chucking dice. Yeah, I mean, the monsters are all set, so how much damage, how much defense they have is all set in stone. There's no randomization there. But from a player aspect, how much damage I'm dishing out and how much defense I have or dodging uh, capability I have is based on luck. Yeah, I like the fact that they did that with the monsters. Yes. That it's just static. You know what you're getting into, what you're fighting, what they're going to be able to do. Like it's all open information and there's no nothing going to change right. with that. I think that'll make the gameplay faster because you're not rolling dice for yourself and for every single monster that comes mm-hmm. up and then tallying everything up. It's more static. Uh, the other thing about the dice is you have three different levels of dice. Yeah. There's only one blank side on any of the dice. Yeah. So it's not like a game like I was thinking of like Super Dungeon Explorer sure. where most of the dice faces are blank, especially on the lower, yeah. the lower end. At least here you're going to be seeing symbols that you want to see. Sure. Uh, one of the other things is that the AI in this game, uh, so there's no one controlling the monsters. It's all AI controlled set pattern of what they're going to do, where they're going to go, who they're going to attack, so on and so forth. Um, it seems pretty seamless. Right. I, I feel like it could be good. It might be difficult to understand. There's lots of iconography and I think it might get confusing. We'll have to see though. Yeah. Uh, so overall, I'm optimistic, more optimistic after you explain the rules to sure. me. It seems more straightforward. Uh, the gameplay, I feel, is going to be quicker than I thought it was going to be. Right. Uh, so yeah, I'm optimistic going in. Um, after I taught the rules to you, I was a little excited to get <laughs> to start playing the game. Yeah. So we'll... I, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm optimistic, not sure how it's going to yeah. go. Uh, thematically wise, I don't think the this board game representation is going to fit thematically with, with Dark Souls. With Dark Souls, the video game. Right. Um, I've only played Dark Souls one, so we'll we'll see. All right. Well, let's get it to the table. Come back and see what we think of Dark Souls, the board game. Let's do it. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. We just finished our first play of Dark Souls, the board game. Uh, A little bit of history into our first play. We played Mm two-player. took us two hours and 22 minutes and 22 seconds. No. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, And then we played the first scenario in the campaign mode. Right. Uh, And we died fighting the mini boss. Right. Like, we lost the game. Yes. We died several times, but we lost the game during the mini boss. Yeah, we died, well, I guess five times. Yeah. 
it's hard game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, start off and tell me what uh, what are your first impressions? So, overarching, I had a good time playing this. Yeah. I had fun. I felt like it was a long game, that two hours and 20 minutes, but it felt like we were just creeping up on two hours. Right. So it wasn't as long as, it didn't feel as long as it actually was to me. Uh, yeah, I, I felt like it was a long game. It didn't feel two hours and 22 minutes long while I was playing it. The The thing that I wasn't prepared for and why I think it went longer than what I thought was there is grinding in this game. Oh, yeah. I thought it was like, okay, you just clear each tile once and then you fight the boss. But no, we were like clearing each tile several times. Mm-hmm. Although some of the tiles were like very quick. Like it was like one dude on there and we just like 30 <laughs> seconds, it was over. I was like, wow, this is really... Literally 30 seconds. Yeah, this is really fast. But then we had one tile where it was a sentinel. Yeah. And he was probably the majority of our time fighting without fighting the bosses. Yeah, and he then, took about 15, 20 minutes each yeah. time we fought him. Uh, and then we fought the boss, we died, went back, tried to fight him again, and almost killed him the second time, but then right. we, we lost. Yeah. For uh, The boss we fought was the gargoyle, and you have to kill him, and then another gargoyle shows up, and you have to kill that one too. And we died on the second gargoyle the second time through. Yeah, so I'm going to agree with you. I, I enjoyed the play. Mm-hmm. I, feel, I feel it could go even quicker with subsequent plays. Sure. The one thing that I didn't really like was the whole getting equipment aspect yep. where you can spend a soul to just draw an equipment card off the top. Yeah. And the requirements for them are based on your stats. And I just felt like, okay, I can't equip that. Can't equip that. Oh my goodness. It's going to take so much to upgrade to equip that. Yeah. I, I wish that it wasn't as random the equipment cards that you drew. Yeah. I didn't like the whole spend a soul to draw one equipment card. Um, because you need those souls to level your up your stats, which I mean takes probably somewhere close to it's going to be about sixty to seventy souls to max out one player. Right. So yeah, you aren't maxing out a player. <laughs> you're not maxing out a player at all. There's no way unless you're playing campaign mode and keeping the same character and slowly right. building up over time. So the the fact that it takes that much to level up your character. And you have to level up to use any equipment. Yeah. Every was, single equipment that we drew was like, can't use that, can't use that, can't use that. Um, there's almost no equipment that you can use right off the bat. Right. You have to level up. So to spend souls to draw that equipment is kind of silly. The The other thing that we mentioned was that the mini boss fights and, and the boss fights, we never saw a boss, but the mini boss fight of those those cards of how it attacks flipping over and getting to learn its uh, its strategy or yep. what it's doing. I didn't really feel that because when uh, when you get it down to a certain health level, you add in one of those heat up cards and then yep. it randomizes it again. So it went through its deck of cards once. Yep. And it didn't even flip it back over and we had gotten it to that point. So it was randomized again and then it was dead before it went through that whole deck again. So there wasn't really a whole learning curve we just killed it uh very quickly right there might be a way that you could kite the monster around the board and then learn its moves and you just do that for one time through and then okay now i know its moves you fight it and then once it gets that heat up card you kite it again to learn its its patterns but i don't know that that would be fun no it's just be all right let's spend the next four turns just running running away from it yeah yeah and because the, the tile is pretty small, it would be hard to get everyone outside of its damage arc every single time. Sure. So you're just wasting time taking damage. And the taking the damage really hinders what you can do because you're spending <laughs> yeah. all this stamina to like, yeah, I spend all this stamina to soup up my actions a little bit or yeah. to move extra. But you're only removing two of those each round, which is good that you actually get to remove some, mm-hmm. but that damage creeps up and even just a little bit over multiple rounds, you kind of, it makes sense. You're, you're hurt. You're not able to do as much. You can't push yourself as hard, uh, later on in the fight. The one thing that I did like, we mentioned how there was a grind. You basically have to fight through each of these encounters and then you reset it by resting at the bonfire. All the monsters respawn and you go through again. The one thing I enjoyed about that was we were learning and we were adapting and it was just like, okay, this time you're going to break through that door first so that you have aggro 
and then this guy's going to position himself over here so that he can get to the monster right away. Yeah. And and learning that um the different skills that each player has cuz I was heavy dodge. So I'd go in with my aggro and just dodge all the initial attacks and then uh, I would when go. when Jeff was going to be the first player so then he could run in and, and start attacking. Yeah, I felt more learning in that, learning the tactics for each individual encounter yeah. more than I felt learning for the mini boss, which I for thought sure. was going to be Opposite, opposite from yeah, what yeah. I was expecting it to be. Yeah. Uh, so overall, I mean, I enjoyed the play. I would I would play it again. Uh, I liked the you know getting the gear, the leveling up, and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And the little individual encounters weren't so long uh, between leveling up because I like that. I like you know you go in, hit something, ting, you get that little <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> level up, woo, -hoo, more souls. <laughs> yeah. Go spend something and go ting. <laughs> yeah go get more souls. I, I enjoyed that aspect to it and then you kind of face off for the big boss uh battles which is a little bit longer well a lot longer and and more in depth so overall i enjoyed it and would play it again yep i would definitely play it again as well the last thing i want to say is that it was there was lots of cheering with uh because of the fact that you can die so easily in this game when you get that dodge yeah because you only have like 10 hit points and monsters are attacking you for five damage that's like half your health so you yeah. want to dodge it and you're like you roll that one die and you get the dodgers like because yeah! <laughs> otherwise i'm almost dead exactly so um it was very intense i enjoyed that feeling all right well that's uh our first impressions of dark souls if you like this video go down hit the like button and subscribe to our youtube channel Jacob and I really like it when you do. We sure do. And in the description down below, you can go to our website and download our podcasts. All right. See you guys next time. Take care.